What's up, guys? Gojira 2001 here, and welcome to the first Kaiju OC talk. In this first episode, we will be talking about the very first Kaiju OC I have ever made. And her name was changed from Bluezilla to Safahara. Obviously, her name is Safahara. She is a female. Duh. She is 180,000 years old. Sounds old? But she's actually a very young adult. As you can tell from the bloodline, she is not full-blooded soul kaiju. She's 50% soul kaiju and 50% foul golat kaiju. So she's a hybrid with the name Soul Golak. I say hybrid because saying crossbreed just sounds boring to me. She is called by other names like Savvy, Blue, or the legendary Soul Golak Kaiju. She is very sweet, loving, caring, and very protective of her family and friends. Her behavior can change from sweet to aggressive in a split second. She can be laid back and pretty damn lazy, but when she hears or sees something she doesn't like, she will get serious really quick. So you don't want to anger this big girl. Moving on to Safahara's parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, all of that shenanigans. This is a mouthful, so bear with me please. Safahara is the daughter of Anagen and Ravalagon. So she is related to the very first soul kaiju god, Kalos, who is the father of Kros, and Kros is the father of the Dark One, which is Anagen's dad. Safahara's mate is named Kaholtz. Oh my god, I do not like that. I might change it. I don't like how I'm saying it. Her offspring, are Exeria, Phaestrus, and Zekarin. Oh my god, I don't like every single one of those. I hate those. I'm changing them after this video. Oh my god, I don't like them. Zekarin is Safahara's adopted son, by the way. Moving on to abilities and forms. Keep in mind that the names of some of the weapons and forms will be changing. Some of them just don't suit the power itself, or I just don't like them. So, keep that in mind. The first ability is, well, as you can tell from the drawing, she has wings and she can teleport. Safahara is capable of flight. I got a comment from someone saying that they don't like wings on her and I'm just sitting there like, well, guess what? It's my character, not yours. I can design it however the hell I want. The next ability is called Serenity. The name is definitely changing. I it doesn't suit the fucking ability at all. Anyways, this ability is like a nuclear pulse, but way stronger. It is only activated when Safahara stomps on the ground to send, like, surrounding threats back. At the bottom of her foot, there is a swirl shape that will glow when the soul kaiju is ready to stomp. Up next is called... Lazarus. I might change it. I don't know. I haven't fully decided yet. But anyways, this ability allows Safahara to fire a deadly beam from her mouth, tail, and even her eyes. The scary thing about this ability is that Safahara can fire it without even showing any signs of her about to attack with it. Like, her spines won't glow. Like, they won't glow. She'll just... Pew! She'll fire, without warning. Next ability is called Spada Blade, and yeah, I, I hate it. I'm changing the name on this one as well. But this weapon is summoned straight from Safahara's claws. Here's an example for how Safahara's blades would look like. When her claws or fingers are straight like this, the blades come out. They only disappear when her fingers are relaxed like this. The last ability is called Fusion Insignia. Remember this drawing? Well, that is the power Safahara is showing. This is the most powerful ability a soul kaiju can have, and it's extremely rare. The, 
Not all Soul Kaiju have this. Kalos and Safahara are the only ones that have this power. That shape behind Safahara in the drawing will also appear in Safahara's left eye. The ability is also combined with a form that Kalos doesn't have, but Safahara does. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to explain anymore because spoilers. Since the ability can be combined with a form, it increases the power level to insane levels. So, if you see Safahara in that form, get the hell out of there. Moving on to forms. The first form on the list is called Destructive Form. I was actually inspired by the monstrous nightmare in How to Train Your Dragon. Just like the monstrous nightmare, she can set herself to flames. And just like at the end of Godzilla King of Monsters, she can set, you know, the surrounding area into flames. I guess you could say she's fired up. Hey, I'm never gonna do that again. Last form on the list is called Perfect Form. I'm not gonna say much about this form because, again, <clears throat> spoilers. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Moving on to ranking. Every Soul Kaiju has a different ranking, from citizen to warrior to even the god. Some Soul Kaiju don't live under the god, some don't serve to protect the god, some choose to live alone, and they are called rogues. I will explain what different rankings are in a different video, but as you can tell from the text, Safahara is a warrior. And she has died zero times. Well guys, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and comment down below on what you thought of my character. And I hope you guys learned a little bit more about her. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you want to get notified on whenever I upload a video, hit that bell icon. Anyways guys, have a great day and I will see you all later.